nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen we have just gotten loaded, so we are all ready to roll now. We got 134 miles to do to our delivery place up there just outside of Windsor, Ontario. So, we're going to put our, on our sunglasses, our sunshades. There we go, so we look sort of cool, at least in some people's eyes. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's put her in gear and get these big miles behind us, these big 134 miles. <laughs> we, we're doing pretty good with the weight. We got uh, 25,000 pounds on here. So, now we just got to get our border crossing cleared. And then we will be all good to go. We'll be crossing at Windsor, Detroit, Michigan there. Windsor, Ontario that is. And uh, then we'll be crossing that Ambassador Bridge again. All the challenge is going to be getting back onto the highway up here. There's a lot of traffic up here usually. I know I had a hell of a time yesterday trying to get up to this highway here. It's like there's no stoplight here for a while, so well, it looks like we might get a break here soon. But, anyways, we are going to have ourselves a fantastic day. I'm kind of hoping that they'll send me up to Toronto and pick up a load over there or if not then maybe pick up a load somewhere in London or something like that and then uh, hopefully I can go to Toronto or through Toronto and go back to Manitoba you know what's gonna happen then yeah we're gonna stop at Master Stick if we go to Toronto that's right and this time I'm gonna take the camera with me and we're gonna go inside and have a nice day yeah, somebody requested that the other day. They said, why don't you ever show us Master State? Well, next time I'm in town, I will. And I will. Oh, yeah. Anyways, right here, over here to the right, where that McDonald's is, that's where we were sleeping at. It's like only like a quarter of a mile away from our uh, pickup place there. Nice little truck stop there. Got a McDonald's restaurant right beside it. Take the entrance to the they even take calm data cards here so we could even fuel. So I filled up a little bit here yesterday just to make sure so I could make it into uh, into Canada. You don't really like fueling in Michigan for some reason the uh, company says uh, I think they the tax bracket or some something to do with the taxes. That's one of the reasons why we don't really fuel here so they tell us just fuel as much as you need to to get out of Michigan and then fuel somewhere else. So. That's what we did. We just filled up 70 gallons and that should bring us up to Toronto. Anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Getting on to the Ambassador Bridge. That's right. We are getting on to the Ambassador Bridge. Crazy traffic up here today. There's a lot of trucks up here. That is for sure today. It was quite hard to get onto the actual ramp here today. It's like, wow, you know. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Yes, yeah, so at least it's nice and sunny today. I don't know why these trucks are using two lanes today. I didn't think that they were allowed to use the left lane up there, but I guess they kind of are today. I'm not sure why. Why we're moving into that other lane, but I guess they must have that right lane blocked up here today. It's just like truck on truck after truck up here today. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try and clean the windshield a little bit so you can see a little bit better out of the window. Yeah, we'll be crossing into Ontario here right away. As soon as we're in the center of this bridge, we will be in Ontario. You see the big river up there, or whatever you want to call it. Yep. The uh, customs 
agency was pulling a truck over there in the rest or on the duty free up there it was pulling a truck in there I don't know what they found suspicious on the truck but it was pulling him over I guess they're gonna look at his freight and see what he's got and spec the load before it leaves USA that seems to be moving pretty quick here it was very slow up there probably wasted 15 minutes just getting on to the, uh, the border entering Ontario yeah, there you go now we're on Ontario but as I was saying I probably lost 15 minutes just trying to get into this area that's right here we are and we'll be coming to a stop here and then it's going to be a waiting game trying to get across the border so we'll see you guys I guess on the other side or you will see me on the other side hopefully hopefully they won't turn us back right well here we go guys we just crossed the border we are still in Windsor that's right we just got the red light up here <laughs> so we can't uh, go right away but eh. We got a light up here so we got to respect that and anyways so we got uh, about half an hour to go to our delivery place hopefully they'll be happy to unload me right away and then we'll uh, see what kind of reload we will get that's right we we'll just have to keep our eyes open for a reload I'm kind of hoping they'll send me up to Toronto I really do because I know they have some kind of loads there from Toronto usually leaving on Wednesday to go to Edmonton so that would be kind of nice if I could get me a load like that that would be really nice actually well guys we've been unloaded here now for a few minutes and uh, we're just waiting on some information to uh, get my border crossing set up and the reason I'm saying that is we got a reload out of Troy Ohio Troy Ohio not Troy Troy Ohio yeah so we got to cross the border empty go over there and the load is supposed to be ready there tomorrow morning I don't know I thought they would be closed for uh, Thanksgiving but maybe not I don't know we'll have to see I guess we'll find out I guess uh, we'll go over there tonight and find out if they're really open tomorrow or not but anyways uh, I've been there before it's a door place those loads are almost never ready on time but they might be ready now because maybe everybody wants to be home tomorrow so maybe they'll work real hard and uh, getting that load on tonight maybe and hopefully it'll be ready but uh, anyways we're just kind of waiting for the dispatch to set up the uh, border crossing as soon as they set that up I can uh, get out of here and uh, head towards the border who <laughs> wasn't long in Canada at all I guess <laughs> only a couple of hours maybe that's about it but that's good we got nice sunshine up here at least we know what we're doing as soon as we get our clear okay we're out of here we're back on the road here we go guys we got the okay to go into the United States our paperwork has been set up so here we are making our way back to the US yeah in Canada one minute next minute we're back in the US right <laughs> at least that's the plan if they will let us in to the US so far we never had a problem obviously but you never know sometimes it can give you a hard time and they might say no we don't want you in the US today and it's all right you just have to find something else I suppose but anyways we are very close to the border probably another two miles and we'll be in we'll be back in the United States yeah that's right I called up the customer where I'm supposed to pick up this preloaded trailer and uh, sounds like they're closed tomorrow but uh, they said they're gonna have the load ready to, uh, until uh, by five o'clock they're gonna have the load ready but 
we'll just have to see if that's going to happen. I've been at that place before and they've never been ready on time, so... I'm thinking maybe if they're ready at 7 o'clock tonight, they'll be doing good. I guess we'll find out. We'll just find out. Anyways, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Here we go, guys. This is in the lineup that I was in earlier, the, the one that you see here to the left. Yeah, truck on truck after truck. I guess it's because uh, it's Thanksgiving. Everybody's trying to get back into Canada. Go back home, I guess, because there's nothing going to be going on for the next couple of days in the U.S. But how often is it that you get to see me cross back into the U.S., coming from the U.S. and then going back into the U.S. in the same day within a couple of hours? <laughs> That does not happen very often, let me tell you. No, I don't remember ever doing that. No, I can't remember that, especially not within a couple of hours, like especially this bridge up here. I think I crossed maybe in the same day, but maybe, maybe not even. I don't, I don't ever remember crossing back at the same day on this bridge. But hey, here we go again. <laughs> First for everything, right? That's what they say. Anyways, it's a very unique bridge up here that connects Canada and the United States up here in this area. It's about almost the only one. I think there's one more bridge over there, but there's no trucks allowed cross to cross the there. So Michigan. here we go. We are on Michigan. Anyways, I'll. See You'll see me uh, on the other side. This is it, guys. Here we are. We are in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, the road is terrible up here for the first little stretch, anyways. <laughs> you know, that's how it goes up here. But oh, well, it was an easy crossing. Nobody is trying to go south right now. I guess because of the holiday tomorrow. No. Nobody want to go south right now. That's good for me. It was like just like that crossing the border. Usually it's terrible going into the U.S. at that border crossing, but today it was like I could just swing her right in there to the booth. No problem. No problem. That's right. Look at all these oil refineries or whatever you want to call it gas refineries up here that they got big tanks up here we gotta go into the center lane because traffic wants to come onto the highway yeah I don't want to slam on my brakes so I much rather move over yeah that's right but at least it's been nice and sunny very nice very nice that's the way we like it. Oh yeah. There we go. GPS says we should be at our pickup place at 5.30 still. So if that's the case, then hopefully they'll be there to give us either the good news or bad news. <laughs> either my load will be ready or it won't be. Whatever way. Anyways, let's put the hammer down towards there and see what happens from here to there. Well, 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 guys, we are at our pickup place still. And as you can probably see it's dark out there. But the building is right there to the left. Where our pickup place is, but uh, yeah, our load wasn't ready when we got here. They said about probably another half an hour, 45 minutes till it would be ready. Well, it ended up being quite a bit later. <laughs> Probably two hours after they told me. I think it was like at 7.30. I think they finally had me loaded. That's Eastern Time Zone. They said it was going to be ready at 5. I knew it was going to be after 7. I just knew it. <laughs> so, since I've been here before, I know they got the service road that goes right around here. Well, pretty much around their property, around their building, you know. So, uh, I asked them if I could sleep here. And they said, yeah, sure, you can sleep here, you know. So, I said, all right, appreciate that. So, we pulled her over the scale and 
I think they do actually have a scale up here. We scaled the load and we are legal. I think we're like 77,000 gross. So we are legal. So now we're just gonna go to bed here pretty soon. Probably get up early tomorrow morning and get the heck out of here. We got 1165 miles to go to go home. So we got two full days of driving. So let's keep our fingers crossed that that traffic ain't gonna be too terrible to go home tomorrow. Because it's uh, Thanksgiving up here in the U.S. So that traffic is probably going to be bad. I'm, I'm suspecting. <laughs> but nothing I can do about it. So anyways, that's about all we got for today, I think. So we'll go to bed here pretty soon. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Come 2 a.m. Central Time. So have a good one, everybody. And we'll see you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.